How long have you been here uh, teaching at Glenwood? I have been here 25 years. Uh, in this aspect right here inside the classroom, about 23, and then I started in the wilderness program. But all of it is with being with the emotionally conflicted boys, the boys with behavior problems and not on the autism spectrum. Right. It's great to me that I can make a difference in that population that kind of gets um, overlooked often because, you know, in the public school, these kids are in a classroom of 30 children uh, and they have behavior problems that can't be dealt with, so they're passed on. Here, I can give them attention that a public school teacher or a general ed teacher can give them. I can give them that one-on-one -on -one in a small classroom setting that they truly need, that I can deal with their problems, I can listen to them more. Whereas, in a normal classroom setting, a teacher would not have that opportunity to listen to them or could not deal with or work through the behaviors that keep them out of the public school environment. My name is Corey Johnson. I've been at Glenwood for about three years now and I work as a behavior analyst here. Um, I work with some of the older individuals in our school, so up to age 21. I really enjoy doing different vocational training with them. We go on lots of job, uh, job sampling sites. We do a lot of community outings and we get to give them novel experiences that they might not get to experience in the world otherwise. What's a job uh, site that you visited recently that yeah, so we did a train station um, with, with conductors and we took the kids on a train ride and got to see how they responded to that and they really loved the sensory, um, the motion of the train and the sounds there, so they, a lot of the kids with autism really enjoyed that a lot. Um, also pet stores, they really enjoy interacting with the animals, the dogs and the cats. Um, so seeing them react in the community to those different settings really gives us an idea of what career paths they might enjoy taking later in life. If there's something you can say that they give back to you, what, uh, yeah, what just joy, around? laughter. Um, you know, they they do they show love in their own way and affection in their own way, and just responding to them and getting to know them and uh, their personality, and seeing them shine and grow. And you might get an individual who is nonverbal or non-communicative when you first meet them, and then seeing them open up and express themselves either vocally or verbally or through um, augmented communication devices is one of the most rewarding things that. I get to see my job. So I'm Marie Tucker. I'm a speech therapist here at Glenwood. I've been here a year and I work with children with autism and I help them really find their voice and get them a way to communicate. And one experience so far that is just really stuck with you that you know something that you just it's always the story you share with somebody or anything like that? Yeah, um, I think about one instance when, um, so I have a student who was mainly using um, picture exchange symbols, um, which is a great way to start off, you know, exchanging something um, as a form of communication. Um, but I presented um, a speech generating device to him and he immediately like latched onto it and was able to immediately start using it and say, you know, want and then add on words of what he wanted. And, um, it was just amazing to see that even in one session with him to put it in front of him and for him to be able to know I can use this and my words have power. Um, and that was amazing for me to see and something that I think about when not only I go to see him but I see other students that something that kind of keeps me coming back. Uh, where, you, where were you born? 1999. 1999. Um, what okay. city? What city were you born in? Huntsville. Huntsville? Huntsville. What year were you born? 1989. Okay. So I guess you're 20. Yeah. Makes me feel old. <laughs> what do you love so much about Glenwood? I like my friends and staff. Yeah. Do you collect pictures? Of vending machines I do on my iPad. Vending machines. How many do you have I now? I heard. 13,000. Wow. So how many would you like to have? A lot. A lot? Well, I think, uh, I think we could help with getting some pictures of vending machines, too. Okay. Would that, be, would that be awesome? Yeah. Put the camera and tell them exactly what you want. I like vending machine pictures at Walmart or since everywhere else. And that kind of stuff. That sounds Any good. Any vending machine you would like? Coke and Pepsi and snack and all that kind of stuff. And you have 14,000 so far? Yes. It would be awesome if we could double that, wouldn't it? Yes. That would be really cool. Well, we'll see what Thank we can you. do. My name is Paul Agostini. Um, I'm Glenwood's Vice President of Education at ABA Services. I've been with this company for almost seven years now. And this is a special place. 
I think what really separates Glenwood from a lot of other places is that we are staff members. Uh, everybody here um, has servants' hearts. Um, they're here to serve our individuals, our kids, our students, our adults with autism. We have kids coming in who they come into a program not being able to communicate, having significant problem behavior. As you can imagine, there's so much frustration when you're not able to communicate your wants and needs. You're not able to do things independently. And through the incredible work of our staff and team here, um, we're able to teach these individuals how to communicate. We're able to teach them how to toilet themselves, how to dress themselves. And as a result, we see that problem behavior go down and we see them become happier. Right. And it's just awesome. My name's Jamie Sellers. I'm the uh, division director of the SED division here at Glenwood. And SED stands for severely emotionally disturbed. Now, and my, my feeling is that we're all SED from time to time. Okay. Unfortunately, our guys have been labeled that because they've gone through severe trauma, abuse, neglect. Almost 99% of them have been through horrendous circumstances. The research shows that um, the most healing agent of change with these type of kids is a relationship, what they call a positive relational experience. What we tell our staff is that what's more important than their credentials, how much schooling they've had, how skilled they are, is their ability to form a connection. And so um, I tell them all the time, we're not the ones healing these kids like a cast on a broken leg. We're providing safety and protection so that healing can take place in the context of that healing relationship. I'm Dr. Mary Kate Carey. I'm the director of Glenwood's Children's Center. And I got involved in ABA about 10 years ago, uh, working with residential boys with autism, ages 12 to 15. And since then had moved to the younger population, um, specifically under age three, and I was working in homes. When I got to move back from Boston to Birmingham, I had the amazing opportunity to come um, here to Avondale and open up the Children's Center with Glenwood. What we do here is extremely unique for the Birmingham area and really for the state of Alabama. So we do early intensive behavioral intervention, it's EIBI. We serve children ages two to six with a primary diagnosis of autism. Um, and when I'm thinking about why this is so important and why the work that we do here is so important, it's because for these really young kiddos with autism, the research shows us that we can actually change the trajectory of their diagnosis. So specifically, we can make social experiences reinforcing for them and meaningful for them and have value in their life. Once social experiences become valuable and reinforcing for them, they can learn an infinite number of skills just using social reinforcement alone. So for me, having that opportunity to change really the trajectory of these kids' lives and work closely with their family and caregivers and see the impact of the work that we do in their family and extended families' lives makes me absolutely love my job and want to come here every day.